Hey, welcome back to my Rogue Tech campaign. So the last episode, we managed to flip Joy's from Free Worlds League to the Magistry of Canopus, which is great. Um, it was one of the things we were looking at trying to do, and we were able to accomplish that. The other thing we did was we ran a four and a half skull mission, and uh, we picked up three cooling pods and managed to get some heat uh, and some things readjusted in our cataphract to make it a little more efficient. So what I want to do now before we leave Joy's and move on to another Mag Magistry of Canopus world, or sorry, a Free Worlds League world, um, is we want to pull off a, a five skull contract. We haven't gone five skulls yet. We've gone four and a half and haven't had too much of an issue. And I'm thinking we're going to do pulling linchpins. I think this is probably a good induction into a five skull mission. It's a capture base mission, so most likely it's turrets and one or two lances of mechs. And they'll generally be staggered, so I'm not facing them all at one time. So we're going to run this one, I think. Um, it's, once again, fighting against the Free Worlds League, so how's Merrick, uh, which is good. Just to sort of solidify the, the uh, Magistry of Canopus uh, um, or the local government uh, in this system. So let's negotiate this out. And I think we're going to go, we're sitting pretty good here with, with cash. I think if we take damage, we'll probably still be okay with 267,000. And 5 of 22 is, is a really nice salvage, so we're going to accept this. And we're running our standard mix again. And it's like we get, it looks like we need more firepower than that. I think we'll probably be okay. Uh, with the upgrades to the cataphract, we've gone from three to three and a half skulls now. All right, here we are. So we're here to capture the military, uh, Merrick military outpost. And this looks like the first map we've uh, we played on before. So we know all that we know how to do this one. It's a sea of green. It's been a long time since we've been on green worlds. We've been uh, mostly fighting on desert and Martian worlds. So it looks like we've got mechs and turrets. So we need to wade through these guys, I think, as quickly as possible. 85 and 100 tonner. So we're going to go before all these guys. So the, the name of this game is to um, be as ammunition efficient as we possibly can, I think. We don't want to be wasting... Um, missiles and auto cannon rounds on targets that aren't good hits but it's 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 good that at least three of our mechs are primarily uh, um, energy based so here comes that 85 tonner maybe it's a battle master I don't really class 80 and 85 ton mechs as assault mechs. I know in the classifications they're technically that, but I like to think of them as just super heavy mechs. Yes, okay, so we're going to reserve, I think, right back to turn one. I copy. My fear is that some of these turrets are actually um, missile turrets, so I don't want to be engaging with guys unless I know they're not going to hit us with a ton of missiles. Uh, so let's move through the woods up the hill here. We're going to move straight into these two. Looks like they've got another mech over here, another hunter tonner. Yeah, I see that. Let's get these auto cannons into position. We want to try and use cover as best as possible, making sure the other guys can't see us if these guys spot us. We don't want to get any direct fire from a distance if we can avoid it. Okay, so light light LRMs. I wonder if that was from the turret or from this guy, an 80 tonner back here. I bet, I bet you the turrets are going to go last here. So they're going to have reinforcements if we get in too close. So I want to draw out the mechs. Unless these guys are like, unless three of these turrets are like LRM turrets, I just want to pull the mechs out and deal with them. But like I said, I just want to be out of direct uh, line of sight. Okay, so we're going to reserve back. I do not want to use ground zero as the initializing mech. 
Can we get in to see this guy? We can. We can see them both. Do I want to, though? Do we want to know what we're up against? I think we just want to fight this guy first. Atlet. Atlas. Okay, you know, the AS5 hyphen HAT, that looks like asshat to me. <laughs> well, let's fight this asshat. Uh, it's a pirate. Alright, let's uh, fire everything at him. You gotta hit him though, buddy. Come on, man. Okay, you got the tag on him. Oh, head hit too. Nice. And the pilot is like a like novice pilot, even though he's an elite skirmisher. He's got like no health. How is that possible for an elite skirmisher? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna need to pummel this guy. So he can't get in close, let's just fire everything. Try and knock his ass on the ground here. Not unstable yet. So let's rotate flatliner over. Is there any way we can get a good sight on him? I have to sprint it, I guess. I want to save that spot for the Orion, so let's just move into here. Moving to position. And we're going to fire straight on this guy. I want to make him unstable, and then I'm going to go for a headshot, I think, right with there. the... Uh... Come on, give me another head hit here. I want to go for a headshot. Yeah, we're going to go for a headshot with ground zero. Can I get into a pers good visual right here? I don't want to run. Offensive push because he's unstable. Going to go for a headshot. If we get one with the missiles. And the knockdown. That'll be enough. Yep, there it is. The knockdown. And thank you very much. Okay, Atlas out of the play. That's from the turret, I think. Or it's from this guy. Yep, it's from this guy, I think. So this 100-tonner, what's he doing? Sensor locking. Where's that from? Oh, that turret. Okay, minimum damage. Damage is minor, Commander. That's what I just said, didn't I? Okay, so... How do we play this now? I think we're going to go after this guy. I think there's a way we can do it without getting shot at directly. So let's get... Let's reserve, and then let's get height up here. So we can see the guy from up here. Battlemaster 1S. So basically standard Battlemaster. So we're just going to fire straight at him. He's pretty evasive. At least the PPC hit. I don't think we got him with the tag, did we? I didn't see a one go by there. Yeah, he's tagged. Okay, cool. So let's make this guy unstable. Okay, I'm going to not use the ACs on this guy. Well, let's use them. Okay. I'm just worried that if I start firing them too often, uh, when we don't have the best chances to hit, that um, we're going to run out of ammo at the end here. And I think there's going to be four mechs coming from here after this, after we take these guys out. So let's fire this guy. The PPC's missed. Wow. And he's not unstable now. Okay, so let's get out of the range of... Or out of the way of those turrets. I'm hoping I'm not spotted. I think I'm hidden now. So we're going to fire everything straight on this guy. Looks like two PPC hits. And not quite enough to knock him down. Okay. Sorry, buddy. You and I can exchange. So his legs pretty damaged. Yeah, well they're 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 getting us to play their game. They're trying to anyway. That turret can still see me. All right, we need to pull. The, we need to get rid of these turrets. 
At least the two in the front. Ah, crap. Gotta get more health, I think. Alright, they can see us. That's not good. Alright, turret time. We gotta take these two front turrets for sure. What are your orders, Skipper? So, can we see? We can. We're gonna move in for one turn. The area isn't clear. Yeah, I know. To your next yeah, we're too close. Crap. Alright, what do we got here? Heavy laser turret. And armored sniper turret. So we can, can we take the heavy laser turret out? We don't have enough for that one. We got good chances on the battle master though. So let's take that. Firing. Okay, tagged for sure. Okay, he's unsteady. So let's see what we can get with Flatliner. I think he's probably got more than enough to take out that first turret right here. Let's remove that from the game. Goodbye. A dead fire ammo is devastating. That turret is gone. It is gone. Alright, ground zero. What's our chance to hit here? Amazingly good. So we're gonna move up, just walk it up. We're gonna fire straight on this guy. And we're gonna remove him from the board, hopefully. I think we got enough. Oh, damn close. Waiting for orders. And we're gonna multi-target with this guy. So this guy's got 12 left. So we're gonna multi-target. The auto cannons are going to go here. See what I mean? We only got down. We're down to 10 turns now. And the pulse lasers to the second one, and we're gonna fire. I can't not fire though without a good chance to hit. There's the leg gone. The turret gone. Okay, so he's got some pretty good health. He'll be getting up this turn, but he's not going to be moving very far. We're going to be subject to fire from the other turret back here too, so I'm not sure what he is. Hopefully it's a close range shredder turret, that we don't have to worry about it. Okay, you're dead next round, buddy. I hope this is a shredder turret. Okay, this guy is pretty much hidden. So that's the 80 tonner at the back. I wonder if that's another one of those awesomes that we fought last battle. Thank God for that guy missing. A turret can see us too. Looks like he's down behind here though, so how does he see us? Like he's behind the wall here. He must be heavily obscured. Like look at that. How do you even see us from there, buddy? Alright, whatever. Alright, so... I'm gonna take care of this battle master. Don't wanna get too close. And get take care of this battle master. I should just be able to open fire and kill him. 42% chance. Why is this so low? Minimum range. Plus 8. Why would that be the case? Oh well, let's leave it off for now. There's a torso gone. Another head hit. Knock down, maybe, nope. Okay. Confirm. I need you to get in to see that turret over there. But I don't want to see that go. other mech. So what's this guy? Heavy sniper turret. Should be able to kill this thing. Two AC, three AC2s. Is that enough? It's not going to be enough to kill him, but it'll be enough to do a lot of damage to the battle master. Let's let's fire straight on him. There's a knockdown. So the pilot's down to one health. Okay, flatliner. 
if I remember from the last time. I had enough to be able to knock the turret out. So we should be able to take this guy out. Yeah, that should be more than enough. Tag didn't hit though. Or the small, or the laser I mean. Doesn't matter though. Okay, so that's one less worry. So let's get you up. Okay, now that this guy's on the ground. Let's just target what's he got left in the center, 31. We're gonna go for a CT hit, leave the ACs off. Oh, come on, really? Okay, there we go. Thought for a second there we didn't kill him. All right, let's see what they're gonna do. Marauder 2. So we're gonna have to like rotate our attack to the left here. Yeah, I saw that. We gotta take this Marauder. That's an awesome. Okay. Okay, at least that turret's hitting the ground here. Okay. Let's engage. Can we see the guy? And shoot? At all? We cannot. I mean, we could just go after the awesome. Let's see if we can remove him. Let's move forward. Pretty good chances to hit. Taking the shot. Ah. Did I miss with both PPCs? I think I did. I must have. That's crazy. Okay. Standing by. Let's move down here. Over that marauder can't see us now. I'm gonna fire on the awesome. I'm gonna fire everything. everything I've got. Okay, and let's get Vanskater down here. Trying to get away from that Marauder. We were going to rotate left, but I think it's probably easier for us to rotate right on this guy. Uh, do I want to use the Ultra Tanzia? Yeah, I think we're doing okay for ammo. Not enough. I was hoping to make him unsteady there. Let's just sprint down here. Affirmative, Commander. And we'll unload with everything on him. So structure exposed, but where was that? He's completely unsteady. He's missing a lot now too, which is good. Where do we get the... Ex oh, it looks like the torso hit. Yeah, the one torso. Okay, let's see what the Marauder does. He's turning around. Okay, he can't see us. They've got a sensor lock on me. And here come the lasers. I still don't know how that thing can see us. Like whatever. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Yeah, we gotta finish these guys like up fast. Thank you, Captain Obvious. All right, where do they come from, though? Probably back here. I think we gotta turn before they show up. So. Yeah. Let's remove the awesome first. So I don't want to. We got good chances to hit. I'm going to use these guys. And we're going to try for a torso hit. Both those PPCs missed again. There's got to be something invisible there. That's crazy. Yes, Commander. Okay. Um, let's just step down here. And let's fire everything on this guy. Just going to fire it straight out. Okay, that was a torso hit again, it looked like. There's the 
destruction of the torso. Head hit. No, it's the torso. Scored a critical hit. Okay, he's unsteady. We should be able to knock him down now, no problem. Not much left in that torso. So let's use height first. Let's just walk it down. Firing straight on this guy. We're going to fire everything. Should be able to knock him down. Right, torso destroyed. That hit something good. So he's basically a walking stick now, I think. Down to one. Let's see what he's got here. He's got a small laser wear in his head. Yeah. So, Ready. let's just step down here. Get our stability back. Let's fire at him. He's on the ground. Gonna go for a headshot, see if we get it. And I think I will go this route. So that's, we have eight turns left here with this brown. So if I fire everything, let's just do it. We got seven turns after this. But we need this guy gone. Bail out. Oh, we got his head. Nice. Excellent. So three turrets and three mechs down before the reinforcements arrived. So that's good. So now we want to kind of quickly push this last turret. If we can get a line of sight on it and kill it. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. It's not actually hitting anything. Yeah, I know. It's not actually hitting anything, but I want it gone. We're going to deal with this Marauder 2 over here. He's got some big guns. That could be a stalker or a catapult. Lot damage holding firm. Another 80 tonner. Okay, so I was expecting assaults, but we didn't get them, so that's okay. So let's reserve. And then let's try to get height into a position where we can see that turret. So what do we got here? 85, 95, and two 80s. And this is just a heavy turret. We're gonna fire everything on it. We might actually get lucky and kill this thing. Did I miss with one of the, uh, I did. Miss with one, okay. Yes, Commander. Let's finish it up. Roger, double time. And we're going to leave the ACs off, just fire the pulse lasers. Okay, so that turret's gone. Turret destroyed. Okay, one part of the mission I'm done. So let's get back up this way. We're going to use the Warhammer and the Orion to take on the Marauder. Ready for orders. Although I don't want to engage him quite yet. We're going to brace here. I want to make sure we're both there to do it. Here he comes. Wow. That's a lot of lasers. It's the 2K version, which has got what? Two heavy, two light, and a large label laser triple plus. Lock on me. Now you wish is when you had the fire starter, man. That'd be crazy. That guy's jumping, 85 tonner jumping. With missiles? Watch him? And oh watch is not 85 tons, is it? I thought watch was 75 tons. Jumping stalker maybe? Dunno. Find out soon enough, I guess. Alright, we want to get on this guy's side. We're not going to be able to do it. We're going to back up though. Copy that. Get as much evasion as we can get going at the moment. And chances to hit are really good. We're just going to fire everything, looking to destabilize him a little bit. Or destabilize him a lot. That's pretty good. Head hit. Now we can bring Flatliner down. So let's sprint it over. Now we can do an offensive push on this guy, maybe. What do we got chances to hit? 99. So let's go after his head. Maybe we get lucky and take his head completely off. All weapons are go. 
The torso's gone. Another head hit. Well, that's for the torso, I guess. There's the knockdown for another pilot injury, so it's three out of five. Okay, so, band skater, let's put these ultras back on. And we are not going to stay over there. Actually, we're just going to move down here. And we're going to brace. And height will do the same thing. We're going to move down. And we're going to brace. Getting our heat back. See what this guy's up to. We've taken off half his weapon, so I'm not that worried about him. He can still do a lot of damage if he gets a head hit, he can kill us, so gotta be careful. Alright, he's overheating too, which is probably why he's not firing everything. But that's his last shot, I think. Okay, you avoided shut down. Here comes some more missiles. Hope we can avoid the head hit. I love the uh, the um, camouflage pattern on the uh, Warhammers. They look great. Showing minor damage. Wish I could put that on every single mech. Okay, the 80 tonner's moving up. Victor. Ah, first time I've seen one of those. Okay, so... Marauder, the Marauder was trying to move in on us. So let's... I can't get to his other side. I can get to it here, though. I just got to expose myself. Let's do this. And then let's see what... Still got tons of uh, weaponry in the... Uh, or armor in the center here. Am I going to have enough to kill him, though? Let's find out. You got a head hit with those missiles? Not at all, eh? Okay. Um, let's just move back. We're going to put his ass on the ground. Maybe kill him. There it is. Pilot lethal damage. I guess we took his head off with the uh, PPC. Okay, so we don't have to worry about that guy spotting us now. Or spotting for the enemy, that is. So let's move up here. Get a little bit of height on this guy. And we're going to fire everything straight at him. Um, he's got an AC-20. I'm going to be careful of that. I mean, I guess I could fire... Try for a headshot with those good chances. But let's just fire everything straight out. Okay, we burrowed through the structure. Was that his arm structure we got? Or was that a torso shot? That's his arm. And torso hits too. Okay, cool. So height. Let's just move up here. I know we didn't get much movement on it. That's okay. We want to try and penetrate that arm. Blast right through it. Tag hit on him. Good. There goes the arm. I think the AC-20 is in the torso though. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Okay. They've got a lock on me. Yeah, that's fine. Let them lock you. They've only got one missile boat left. As long as I don't get a head hit, I'm, I'm happy. I want to know what this uh, 95 tonner is. Commander. Um. Let's reserve. We're going to reserve right back to turn one. I want to trade turns with these guys. I want to see if anybody exposes themselves here. Commander. That's okay. I'm wounded. Yeah, I know. Relax. Standing by. Let's get you down here. Heading out. And we're going to brace. Eighty-five tonners moving up. Okay. What are your orders, Skipper? I want you to come up here and spot some people for me here. Let's get you over here. I got you. 
Lots of evasion. Shinigami, eh? It's the first time I've seen one of these guys, too. Two LRM15 double pluses. ER larges. Two light PPCs. That's a pretty good damn loadout. Elite Sentinel. 85 tons. So this is based on what? Stalker design? Yeah. Pretty cool looking, I gotta say. Too bad we gotta trash him. Let's fire everything on him. Okay, he's tagged. You want to play the long range game? We can play the long range game too. The 95 tonner, I bet you that's a Cyclops. Be kind of cool to uh, get a Cyclops because I want to put that uh, the desk there and flame breath in it. I think that would look awesome. Okay, we're going to fire everything on this guy. Okay, there's one hit. Some stability. Comes the 80 tonner. So we're going to switch targets now. He's not looking so hot over there. Kind of looks like he's still drunk over there. Alright, we're going to move forward as far as we can. Going to get a side hit on this Victor. What do we got for chances to hit? 99%. Going to do an offensive push. And I want to try and take the leg, I think. Let's sweep the leg. I think we can probably blow his leg off. If we actually hit it, that is. Come on, man. Hit that leg. Leg, 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 leg. More leg. There's a pilot hit. Okay, so let's continue along this route. We can go before them. So he's unstable. Let's see if we can get another head hit here. Ah, we got lots of uh, resolve. So let's go after a headshot. One torso, two torsos. <laughs> oh, sorry. Boom. Somebody's not having a good day. Yeah. <laughs> I got lawyers. That's some punishment, man. That is some punishment. Okay, we're just going to walk forward. Want to have a better chance to hit on this uh, stalker up here. Let's get some more stability damage on him. We're going to all go before him. Ugh, oh, no hits. Damn it. Okay, let's get a little payback. Let's get a little payback, buddy. Come on, any kind of payback. A little bit. Alright, buddy, let's get you over here. All right, let's move. Maybe we can threaten this guy to leave here and have him move back. I'm on him. A little bit of stability, tags on him. Let's see what he does now. Here comes the 80, it's an awesome. Great. Got a lock on me. Okay, he's the guy sensor locking, eh? Oh, you're gonna try and kick, are you? Jesus, dude, turning your back to people is not a good idea. Oh, I don't want to get into a melee match with these guys. So let's have a look at the awesome two LRM 15s and a large laser. And that is a battle master. Banshee. AC5, PPC, two medium minuses, and a small. Okay, so he's not really that much of a threat. I mean, he could still headsh headshot somebody, but... So let's move down here. Just gonna walk it down. Have a better chance to hit. Reduce my heat. Gonna load up load up here, and we're gonna fire right at the Stalker. Firing full complement on enemy. Okay, at least one hit. Comes a lot of missiles. Okay, and Flatliner, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to walk it down, fire on that Stalker. We want to give this guy a bad day. Even with the lousy chances to hit, we're still hitting with it, which is nice. So I don't want you where you can be seen by anybody else. Let's just fire straight on this guy. I don't think we did very well there. 
And hype, you need to move. Roger, Skipper. Taking it. That's pretty good evasion. We're gonna fire straight into this guy's back. Here we go. I wonder if he's gonna do melees here. I've been sensor locked. He keeps sensor locking people, man. At least he's not shooting at us, but um okay. Comes the LRMs. Uh oh, where was that exposure? That shot got past my armor. Yeah, but where? Oh, the arm. No, 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 no. We can't have that. Crap! 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 Internal structure damage. Yeah, I saw that. Okay. You. First things first. We need to sprint. We need to walk. We need to vigilance. And then we need to sprint up here. And turn so our other side is facing away. Cripple on that arm. What's it down to now? One. Stalker's gotta go. It's gotta go now. Yikes, down to one. I can't Stand believe that. Got it. Let's put this in the back. Okay, let's go with height. Moving down, I'm going to put this in the back. I'm going to use him kind of as a partial meat shield away from the uh, Banshee. Shooting straight in this guy's back. That's it for him. And then, let's offer up Flatliner. And we're going to engage this Banshee straight out. And we will fire everything with... That was a good chance to hit with the LRM-20. So we're going to fire everything. Come on, take that arm. Take the arm. No, pilot hit though. Is he not moving? Wow. Okay, I think we managed to get away from getting killed here. Or at least losing that arm. Ready for orders. Okay, we are going to turn sideways to this guy and we're going to fire on the awesome. There goes the rest of our LRMs. Guess I should have chose which launcher was firing them. I'm out of LRM. Yeah, I know you are. Commander? Let's just walk back here. Rolling. I only want one guy to see us. We're going to fire everything straight on this guy. And this guy will be out of LRMs too. That should knock him down. Critical hit, Commander. Maybe? I'm out of LRM. Yeah, I know we're all out of LRMs. Seven points left in the head, 55 in the torso. So let's get Van Skater. Uh, let's sprint. Can we get to the side of the awesome? We can't really, so let's just walk. Make sure we're not where that dropship's going to be. And we want to fire on this awesome. How much has this guy got left? Weapon wise, not a lot, but we maybe we should multi target. We're gonna put one AC 10 on him and then everything else on B. There's the knockdown. Wow, he's hitting really well with that AC 10. Like, I don't feel like, uh, ooh, pilot hit. I don't feel like I'm wasting rounds like I was wasting them with the. Where is this guy have no head and he's still alive? Do you have a torso cockpit? Primitive. How is he still alive? He must be dead. Ready to rock. Okay, let's move him over. 
and fire straight on this guy. Fun time. I hope we don't get uh, bagged. There it is. Done. Time now it's... Okay, I don't think Height was standing on the thing. Oh, it was pretty darn close, though. That wing came pretty close to his head. Pretty close to his head. Alright. Yes, Commander. Can I get down in there? Nope. Let's just reserve then. Let's finish this up, boys. Waiting for the right. We can go home. Okay, that was overall a pretty darn good mission. We just ran out of ammo at the end. If we were fighting those just four mechs at once, it might have been a different story. The turrets did an okay amount of damage to us, but not as significant enough that it was uh, nothing we couldn't handle. So overall that was pretty good. 221,000. I bet you it's close to that in repairs. We didn't lose any components. And we didn't take any internal damage. So all our weapon systems are up and running. The only thing we did, we took some internal here. The Warhammer took a bit to the CT, down to almost half. The Catapult took a bit to the CT, down to almost half. So pretty good overall. Our armor was holding up. Weapons did really well. All right, so there's some asshat parts here. And awesome parts. We do have parts of an awesome. Which one is this? Five laser, two missile. Banshee parts. Marauder 2 parts. No, I don't need another Marauder 2, thank you. Shinigami. Uh, Victor parts. Look at this. AC2, AC20 devils. What's this? Six recoil, 66 variable damage. Damage 66. Occult auto cannon? What the hell? Plus one accuracy. 66% chance to deal critical hit with this weapon. Holy can vary between plus and minus 66. Could you, so you could do zero or like three, 132 damage. That's interesting. Another binary laser. Um, some accuracy medium lasers. Interesting. We got five though. What, what do we want to take? Another one of those good PPCs. Heavy PPCs. What else do we have here? Ferro fibers we don't need. Well, Gonna drop it in because we do have some mechs that are up and coming that we might be able to put stuff into. ECM Angel, that's that's a nice one. Another exchanger. Just gonna drop stuff in as we're going down the list here. 340 engine. Ultralight gyros. Nice big heat bank. What else do we have here? Way down here after all the heat sinks. Patchwork materials, endo steel we got lots of, missile and indirect fire, and that is it. So I think we're going to choose the components. Like I said, we've got those two Marauder 2s really still that we need to, to upgrade. So I don't think we need any of this other stuff right now. Yeah, so let's go with these components. These are stuff that we're going to need for a lot of our mechs anyway. So let's take these and see what we get here. So we got one, two asset parts. One, two, three, awesome, four awesome parts. So that's giving us like six awesome parts in total now. One victor. Hey, we got one of those medium lasers. Nice, nice small laser with plus 10 damage. LRM 15, no big deal. Light PPC, we can sell that. Uh, heat, another heat bank. So we did okay. I mean, 19 million in, in salvage. Okay, 144,000. So it was a fair bit. Uh, we did make 200 and something. So overall, we made money on this, which was great. 20 days for repairs. So we're going to be going through a financial report, which is fine. Uh, we've got enough cash to do that. 20 days for repairs. It's mostly the Orion that we need to have repaired and up and running again. Um... But yeah, overall that was great. Now I know I said I was going to, to refit some mechs at the end of this episode, but I think I'm going to leave that off. What I'll do is I'll just do another quick uh, medium lance refit episode where we uh, work on getting our medium lance up and running again. And um, we'll leave it at that, and then I can just tack it on with another uh, um, video when I upload them. So, so for now, I think we'll end it here, and I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave a like. 
If you haven't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe, and I'll see you later.